Hi, I'm Monica. I'm a senior data analyst at ACAD Guild. In previous videos, we've looked at what simple linear regression is. Today, we will look at an implementation of simple linear regression on a sample problem using Python. So the first step to implement linear regression in Python is to import the necessary libraries. The libraries that we will be looking at today are the sklearn, pandas, matplotlib, and numpy. sklearn is for scientific computing, pandas is for data handling and processing, matplotlib is for plotting, and numpy is for base in array calculations and data summarization. The next step to implement linear regression is to load the data set. The data that is taken for this example is from this website, which is also found in the description of this video. So now that we've loaded the library and that now we have downloaded the data set onto our local computer, this is how we read the data into pandas. First, what we do is taxi data file. This is a string that stores the path of the data that is stored locally. Now, using the read CSV function, which is available in the pandas library, this data is then read into a data frame which is named as taxi data. Taxi data dot info. This info function prints certain important characteristics about the data. So now we have the following information available to us. The structure of the data, which is the number of rows and columns. So we have around 1 million rows and 19 columns in this data set. And we know that this data has now been stored in a data frame. We can also use the head function to print the first five rows of the data to take a look at what kind of data is stored in each column. So the previous command gave us the data type for each column. And this command actually shows us some sample information from the data. There are totally 19 columns in this data set. But the variable that we want to predict is the total amount, which is actually the trip fare amount. We have 18 variables that can be used to predict this column value. And we have to choose one among them. A description of all the columns is found here, which is also found in the description of this video. Among the 18 other variables, we choose trip distance to be the predictor variable because usually fare amount increases with increase in trip distance and vice versa. By convention, the predictor variable is denoted by x and the response variable is denoted by y. So in this case, the response variable, which is a fare amount, is stored in y and the trip distance, which is the predictor variable, is stored in x. Now that we have the data, we want to split that into training and test set. The training set is used to train the model, and the test set is used to evaluate how good the model is. We use the train test split function, which is found in sklearn library, to divide the data into training and test sets. After we have split the data into training and test set, we first cast the data objects, which are a series, into one-dimensional arrays and then we plot them to see the relationship between the response and predictor variables. So this is the relationship between the response and predictor variables. So we use the linear regression class in Python scientific computing library to model the data that we have already stored and we print the coefficients. So here we see that the slope was 2.8 and the intercept was 3.8 for the data that was calculated. So we can use the library score function to find the score of the model, which determines how much of the variability in the data is being explained by the model. So here we see that the model score calculated was 0 0.7559. This score is actually called the coefficient of determination, and it is a statistical measure of how close the data is fitted to the regression line. The value is between 0 and 100 percentage, and it shows how effective the model is in modeling the variability of the response data about its mean. So now that we have fitted the model on the data, we want to make predictions using the model. So here we use the predict function of the linear regression model to predict on the test set. And using the predictions that we have made, we again calculate the coefficient of determination to see how well we do. So the value is around 0 0.75. And this is a good value for linear regression. Anything above 0 0.70 is considered good for linear regression. We also calculate the mean square error. And what is a mean square error? It is the sum of the squared differences between the estimated value and what is being estimated. Lower values are preferred. For this model, the mean square error that was calculated was 17.516. The last thing we want to do is plot 
the values that were predicted against the values that actually were to see how off the values that were predicted were. So in this plot we see that the regression line goes right through the data set and all the data is about this line which means that this is a good model. The next video we will look at an implementation of multiple linear regression in Python. Thank you for watching. For more videos please subscribe to our channel. A cat killed. Average is dead.